Welcome to Video Vignettes. Today I'm going to show you how to add and activate a community in your eEdge website. So go ahead and log into your eEdge account from kw.com. Which will bring you to your control panel. You can click either on New Lead, New Listings, or View Contacts. Go ahead and click on View Contacts. Now on the far left of your screen, you're going to see your dashboard and all of your link options. We're going to go down to the admin section and click on website. Under this screen, you have all of these areas and options to customize your eEdge website. We're going to add a community today, so click on communities served. As you can see, I already have several communities added, but I have a new listing in downtown San Jose and I want to create a special community just for that. So click on the Add Community button and give it a name. I'm going to call mine today San Jose Downtown. And click on the Continue button. And now we've added a community to our website, but we need to activate it now. And you need to have at least one zip code to activate it. So my new listing is a 95112. So type in the zip code in the box and click on Add Zip Postal Code, and you'll see that it shows up just underneath. But I want to add also the neighborhoods just east of 95112. So I don't know the zip codes there, so I'm going to go to my favorite online zip code boundary map and have a look. So there's 95112. So I want to add these two zip codes to that community, 95133 and 95116. So I'm going to go back to my Add Community dialog box and add those two zip codes, 95116, click the Add button, and 95133, and click the Add button. So now I have my three zip codes for my community. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is click on the white X next to the zip code to delete it. And I'm done, so I'm going to click on Done. And now you see I have a new community here. San Jose downtown and these communities make it easier for your site visitors to look at market trends and search for homes within those zip codes so it's a very nifty little feature there and that concludes today's vignette hope to see you again